I'm Staff Sergeant Greg Cerny with Defense TV. In theaters now is Warner Brothers' new military war drama, 12 Strong. Starring Chris Helmsworth, the film tells the story of America's initial response to the 9-11 attacks and how the Special Forces teams rode into battle on horseback. Why did these men follow you? You take me to the Taliban, I'll show you. Okay. We take horses. You serious? All right, who's ridden before, anyone? Fifty thousand Al Qaeda fighters, and you're just an army of twelve. We've just been handed the most important mission in the free world. Hold on, our boys are gonna ride into battle on horseback. The ancient skill of working with pack animals and horses is still taught to Marines and Special Forces teams, also known as Operational Detachment Alpha, or ODA. We went to the Marines Mountain Warfare Training Center in California to meet with the instructors to see if these skills are still relevant in today's modern military. I was ecstatic when I got down here, especially when I found out, you know, why this program existed, what the Marine Corps had vested in it, and then that we were the only show in town for the DOD. We run four courses a year. It's designed around an ODA detachment, a 12-man team. They come in, day one, most of them, you know, they may have never owned a goldfish. So we have to start from ground zero. They learn everything in that 16 days on how to pack a mule, how to saddle a horse, how to ride a horse safely in this terrain, all the way up into moving into the battlefield as an infield platform. People think it's a lost skill, and hey, we don't pack animals anymore, and, and you said it is still relevant, especially when we deal with special operations units that come out and they tell us real-world stories of them having very little experience trying to, to pack a mule or, or pack a horse or get on a horse because it's their only means of you know, actually infilling into an area. Um, you see that there is still a need for it, that it's still a necessary skill set that's not being taught, and I think that's what makes us, one, unique and still relevant. Trucks can only go so far, vehicles, Humvees, but your objective may be another two or three days march from the end of that road. We can maneuver around the battle space a lot faster and a lot more efficiently, and then it saves our operators so when they get to the fight, they're still able to fight because they haven't expended any of their own energy.